So now we're going to do a core workout. It's excellent for guard retention. For a good guard retention, you've got to keep your core strong, your legs up at a 45 degree angle, and in good position, in good position throughout. Okay, so the key will be to keep the core strong all the way. We're going to do five exercises, one minute rounds with a 15 minute rest. So let's get ready. We're going to do the 90-90 rock and guard drill. So we rock 90 degrees, side to side. We use the elbows to push off, keeping the legs elevated. We go 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and then we go back all the way to the other side. Keep the legs up, use the elbows to push if you need to, just to get a little bit of momentum. If you're sta stationary, you're going to need to make a little push off the mat with the elbows, and go side to side. Try to keep your hands close to your knees, because we always need to guard. The elbow knee space here when we're defending the guard when the opponent is going side to side. So you can use that visualization here. Imagine your opponent is trying to triangle pass, run around your guard, and you're rocking side to side, always keeping them up front, keeping good alignment with you and your opponent. So that's it. We go side, side, push up the elbow. Maintain it continuous. Okay, 15 second rest, and then the next exercise will be the hip escape. So we do forward and backward hip escape. <coughs> so backward hip escape, four times, forward hip escape, four times, two each side. So we tuck down to the side, working our way back to the mat. Then for the forward hip escape, we swing the legs out to the side, scoop the hips under, and back and forth we go. So back, and forward, one, two, three, four, back, one, two, three, four. Forward, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, back, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, good. The next one will be a 180 rocking guard, so we're gonna go from one side completely to the other. So we rock all the way completely to the other side, and we're going to do that for one minute. Again, push off the elbows, keep the legs up. Imagine that that opponent is on front, trying to pass your guard, and we get the momentum, push off the elbows. Try not to try, sit up to swing, try to push off the elbows, because we want to be able to react quickly to an attempted guard pass, moving 180 side to side, all the way. Be very mobile in this range, it's going to be hard for your opponent to pass your guard. That's what we want. We want to have impassable guard. Try to keep those legs up all the time. Try to rock back, push off those elbows. Keep the core strong. It's going to be a great workout for your guard endurance. Very specific to the sport. Good. Okay, our next exercise is going to be the sidewinder exercise. Another great exercise for core strength and guard retention. So legs up, arms up. We go opposite side, over back. We do four one way, then the other. So over back, then back one, two, three. Four, back, one, two, three, four. So the key is to get that momentum, keeping the core strong, moving the hips and the shoulders alternated. And slide, two, three, four, and back.
Okay, good. Next one will be the cross choke sit up. We want to have a good guard position here. We're relying back this one time. We're stationary, legs apart, and we're reaching up into our passing opponent to try and grab grips for chokes or to pull them into our guard. So we're reaching up, repetitively crossing over, grabbing, crunching, and getting up. Keep the legs nice and tight and wide, and reach. Okay, fantastic. So if you can get three rounds done of this, do one minute and then 15 seconds rest, five exercise, do three rounds, your core is going to be strong, your guard's going to be improved. Let's do it.